Hi, I'm Paul Meeks with Worthington Products, and you're looking at a beautiful dam in Columbus, Ohio. Like most dams, this dam provides excellent recreational opportunities. It protects the downstream communities from flooding. It provides a stable water supply for the city of Columbus, and it provides clean hydroelectric power. But what happens when people get too close to dams like this that are spilling water? This first example shows three fishermen in a boat at a low head dam during high water. Who's on the phone? Swim, dude! Here's a familiar example. Here we have a kayaker racing along the river, and he thinks he's stronger than this river. This last video is compliments of the Tennessee Water Resources Agency who put together a great simulated effort showing what happens when the motor on a fishing boat dies and folks this happens all too often. Unfortunately in this example their dummy is fishing below open spill gates at a hydroelectric dam. Watch what happens. Those are all great examples, but you may be saying, hey, I operate a hydroelectric dam. This stuff doesn't happen to my type of dams. Well, think again. Here's a hydro dam in Tennessee, and you're looking at the floodgates open during high flows. And here's what you don't know about this dam. In June of 2018, a North Carolina man died when the motor on his boat failed, and he was sucked through one of these open spill gates. Again, in July of 2019, Two men were fishing above the dam, their motor died, and they passed through one of these open spill gates. Both were severely injured. Fortunately, they survived. You think that's enough? 
Well, think again, May of 2020, just this year, one man died when the motor on his boat died. He was fishing below the gates and the boat got drawn up into the boil zone, submerged and he died. And then again, this year, November 2020, another man died, exact same circumstance, fishing below the dam. His motor died. He was drawn up into the spilling waters. The boat flipped and he was not found. This happens all over the United States. It happens all over the world. And so what we're asking you, hydroelectric dam owners and operators, is what is your public safety plan? What is your plan to prevent boaters from coming up into these dangerous tail race and spillway areas below the dam? And also, what is your plan to prevent people from coming in contact with gates above the dam? Do you have signage? Do you have barriers? Do you have audible devices? If you don't, then why don't you contact Worthington Products? We have public safety around dams experts, and we would be very happy to talk with you in a frank conversation about what you can start doing today to save lives. Thank you.